What's up everybody, this is Michael from Dear Gamer, and today I feel like playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It's, I've had this game for a while, and this game's been out for a while, but recently I've been feeling like playing it with the sudden release of Dragon Ball Resurrection F, aka Frieza, and the uh, introduction of Dragon Ball Super. I mean, it's only appropriate that I get my Dragon Ball Z fix. <clears throat> so when I left off playing this game, I had my own char character. I, I created a Saiyan, of course. And I just got Super Saiyan, Super Vegeta level 2. Here's my character, looking pretty badass. And I like the little black and, black and blue look with the cool glasses. So, since I've last played, there's been some patches and updates, and I'm just checking out seeing what's new. Hopefully they added Dragon Super Saiyan level 3, because be prior to this, you're going to go up to level 2. But, we'll see what other things they added. So, mind you, the game, I know, the... The world the game is held in is terrible. The story is not the greatest, but you know what? If you're a true Dragon Ball Z fan, you overlook those things and enjoy the battle. It's kind of a similar. It's kind of an MMO. Uh, look at this guy. I already got a Super Saiyan Goku hair going on. Everybody's rocking that look. So let me do a couple of battles and. See if it added anything different. We have nice new items in stock. Let's see if they added anything else. They might have added new missions though that will allow me to get new skills. Right off the bat, let me go ahead and see if I can challenge the strongest match I have available. My character, I'll go with Super Saiyan God Goku. Here I go! Pretty solid team. Alright, so let's get in the hang of the controls again. Charge up. Time to go Super Saiyan on these mother lovers. This is a big thing to me. Final Flash in this game is a beast. Of all skills, I like enjoy that one the most. I have to admit, you're doing a wonderful job. So the glitch, the glitch part of this game is you can just keep charging and stay in Super Saiyan mode the whole time. But why would you buy a Dragon Ball Z game if you couldn't be in Super Saiyan mode the majority of the game? So the thing about that is you don't necessarily need skills or combos like in the previous Dragon Ball Z game. All you really need to do is charge up and... <laughs> You have a lot of spirit! Keep on using your skills. But it is fun. The battle system makes me feel like I'm an actual Dragon Ball Z character. Yeah, the way... I like the way that when you find some battles, other mo other Z... Z words can come interrupt or bosses bosses can come interrupt. It's very fluid. The graphics look great. But it's never one of those games where it's fun to play by yourself. But once you get the skills you're looking for, and if you're not playing with friends, it can kinda of get a little stale. So 
So here I go again. Flash everything. Final flash. I feel like Vegeta does, does not get enough credit in the anime. Of all the boss fights, or there was not one character, but there was not one boss that Vegeta was a victor. He was always behind Goku, and I feel that man, it should give Vegeta a little more credit than that. Seems my power wasn't needed. Just wait. They had I'll Goku. The Go, Goku was stronger than him at all times. Gohan was stronger than him. You know what? The time where he did surpass Goku was when he had the, that Majin Bobby take over his brain. That way he could do some more strength. I kind of feel that was a cop out. What? What are you then more importantly, what's worse than that is when he didn't even become Super Saiyan 4 by his own strength. He had to use Bulma's little technology to get there. I kind of feel they played Vegeta the whole series. They could have done better than that. But. In the new Resurrection movie, I see he kind of comes in at the end and destroys Frieza. But of course, Goku had to come save the day because he couldn't get it done fast enough. And I feel Vegeta had the dopest transformation music, followed by Gohan. But you know what? Goku's just pretty good at, pretty good at rolling on Super Saiyan 3. But are you excited for the Dragon Ball Super? Have you been reading it? I've fallen a little behind. I wanted to I want to get a couple episodes out before I so I could read like in the marathon. But this is pretty much the game. You go through, destroy Z characters, and do Kamehameha blasts all day. Right now I got the Final Flash, which is awesome. Let me charge up real quick. And I got the Big Bang Command Mayhem, which is an exclusive skill to Vigigo. And it looks awesome as well. So uh, yeah, they did a really good job with the animation, the skills, the f how fluid the game is. Uh-huh. But what, what animes are you watching right now? Right now, I just got done watching Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night. If you haven't seen those, those are phenomenal. The animation style is gorgeous, the story is really intriguing. It's a very good show. Next one I'm thinking about watching is Tokyo Ghoul. And I've heard a lot of mixed, mixed things about it. Some of my coworkers are saying it's phenomenal, it's great, you'll love it. Some are saying it's the worst show they've ever seen. But, you know, people are extreme critics when it comes to shows. If it's not something they enjoy, then it's terrible. Versus giving me a chance. So I'm thinking about watching that next. Besides that, but in the comment section below, recommend me some anime to watch. What is your top five? What's your what is the one is your go to it doesn't have to be of all time, but what are some cool animations to watch right now? Right now. But let me comment below and let me know what you're playing. What do you what, what would you recommend me playing next? I'm open to all suggestions. But don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.